everybody welcome back to Bellers by design today we about to make some taco soup this is what you'll need we have two packages of taco seasoning two packages of ranch salad dressing mix now this can vary I'm using what I have at home I have some ranch style beans here some light kidney beans black beans Pinto beans, black olives sliced. I have some petite diced tomatoes, some more green chilies, um, some sweet corn, and then of course we have to have some ground beef, okay? Now you can use whatever beans you like in your soup. This is what I have on hand, so this is what I'm using, okay? All right, let's get started. Okay, you're going to go ahead and get your beef ground up. This is three pounds of ground of beef. Okay, now that my meat is cooked, I'm going to go ahead and drain off the grease, and then I'm going to return it to this pot. Now, normally, I cook this in a crock pot, but I need it done a little bit faster today, so I'm going to cook it on the stove in this, um, this is actually a crock pot, <laughs> pot, um, like a stock pot or a Dutch oven or something, I don't know, I like it though nice and heavy duty so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get this meat drained off because it is done and we'll show you the next steps I'm gonna season I have some black pepper here Let's turn this down Garlic powder. And some Tony Saturies um, Creole seasoning. It's my preference. Instead of salt, you can feel free to just use salt. But I'm not going to use a whole lot because we still have to turn that bin off. I'm sorry, y'all. So you can hear me, but um, yeah, the Tony Saturus Creole season is my purpose. You can just use salt if you prefer, okay? And I didn't put a lot of seasoning because we have those um, seasoning packets to add to it as well, and we don't want it too salty. Okay, so now we are just going to dump everything in now you rinse and drain your black beans and corn if you're using that like i say you can use whatever beans you have on hand or whatever beans you prefer this recipe is very versatile okay so you can kind of make it to your liking all right i have my black olives here i am going to empty them in with their juice i have a big old can of petite diced tomatoes this is a one pound, 12 ounce, 28 ounces all together. Okay. Then I have my can of kidney beans here. I have the pinto beans. Ranch style beans which are basically pinto beans as well with a few more seasonings, okay? Then I have two cans of green chilies. This is a larger one. These are fire roasted. Um, this is seven ounces, okay? And then this is a smaller can, um, four ounces, okay? 
And then our black beans and corn that I drained and rinsed. We're just gonna give it a good old stir. It smells great. Wish you guys had smell the vision. Okay, now we're gonna add in our seasoning packs. Now um, we're a family of four. Y'all already know that unless you're new here. Um, so for this size pot, I use two and two. Um, you can do this to your taste as well. Okay? If you don't like so much taco seasoning, use one or none. Season it yourself. And then with the ranch, same thing. And this is one of those quick meals that you can just put on. Um, if you put it in the crock pot, you can let it cook while you're at work or whatever it is you're doing. But I got a late start. So I'm cooking it on the stove because it'll go a lot faster. But I will be cooking it on a medium low for probably about an hour versus four or five hours in the uh, crock pot. And it may seem like a lot of seasoning, but it's really not, you guys. The flavors come together so well. And this is a really hearty soup that we serve over corn chips. We top it with cheese, guacamole, sour cream, green onions, just kind of whatever you like, you know? All right. Okay, and that's basically it. You just get it all in your pot, honey, and stir it all around, put your lid on it, and let it do its thing. Why you go do your thing. Whatever else you got to do. Because I got laundry. I don't know about y'all. But I'm a stay-at-home mom. So I have stuff to do. Okay. Get that mixed on up. Real good. And then I'll probably stir it every 20 or so minutes just to make sure everything is well incorporated not sticking and all that stuff right which this i believe is non-stick i haven't had a problem with it before there's a big piece i don't like that so i'm gonna take it out but that's it y'all and as this cooks down it'll actually get a little more juicy it's juicy now but as it cooks it makes even more okay you can give it a taste here to see if you need to add any more. I've made this so many times, I already know that this is how we like it, so I'm not gonna have to add anything else, but if you wanna change it up, you can and see how you like it. Yeah, that tastes perfect. Okay, be back. Okay, so it has been cooking about an hour and a half and it's done. So let's make a bowl.
At this point, the toppings vary. You can put what you want. I'm just going to add some cheese and sour cream because that's all I want right now. Well, you can add guacamole. You can add green onions. You can really do what you want. This is a really good hearty soup, especially since it's fall and the weather is cooling off. I think it's something you really enjoy, so give this recipe a try. All right, as always, thank you so much for spending some time with us. We'll see you on the next video, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. All right, love y'all big. Bye.